Where am I? Huh? Toys R Us? Let's go there! Mr. Daydream here. Welcome to the show. <sighs> Toys R Us is gone. As a kid, it was one of my favorite stores of all time. Granted, I didn't really go there that much when I became older, but it still played a huge part of my childhood that I just can't help but feel upset to see it go away. Now it is important to note that Toys R Us is not completely gone as of making this video. It's still around in countries such as Canada, but in the US, not anymore. So I decided to make this video as a tribute to Toys R Us, talk about the memories I've had with it, as well as express my thoughts on its closure. <sighs> Let's begin. Toys R Us is a massive toy store that sells toys of all shapes and sizes. What more could you ask for? As a kid growing up in Denmark, two of my favorite toy stores were Toys R Us and Feta Bea. Feta Bea is a Danish toy store, much smaller compared to Toys R Us. You can usually find them in malls or downtown areas in certain parts of Europe. But I've always preferred Toys R Us over Feta Bea because it's huge! I've honestly lost count on how many times I've pestered my parents to take me there. I needed them toys. I also love going to Toys R Us during the holidays. Christmas time. There was this magical feeling in the air when you saw all these Christmas decorations everywhere. You could even meet Santa. But even as a kid, I cared more about the presents than some fatso. What has he ever done for me? It would also get super busy around that time. So much so that it must be a living hell for the employees who work there, working for hours and hours ensuring that every kid in town is able to get presents. You guys are awesome. Unlike Santa. Again, what has he ever done for me? As a kid, my favorite toys were Hot Wheels, Micro Machines, and Bionicle. They were just awesome. Enough said. I also like collecting these things called Draco heads. Little figures of all these bizarre creatures. I still have the box after all these years for whatever reason. Are they worth anything today? Anyways. There were many versions of these things. I remember when there were Draco heads, Draco heads 2, Go-Go's, and Jojo's. Yeah, that's literally what they were called. I also like collecting Mighty Beans. Which again, I still have. Geez, I just can't let go of the past, can I? Well, anyways, I always thought these things were really cool, but unfortunately all the other kids on the playground back in elementary school didn't seem to think likewise. Everyone was just so obsessed with Beyblades, which I have to admit are pretty cool, but there is something about Mighty Beans that I just like better. Everyone was just talking about Beyblades this and Beyblades that, while I was just there being like, I got Mighty Beans! Anyone? S someone? Uh, beans? Yeah, I was that one awkward kid that wasn't like anyone else. And judging by my appearance, does that really surprise you? By the way, does anyone remember Action Man? Well, whatever. Even as an adult, I did check out Toys R Us every now and then, usually to look at the board game aisle and the video game aisle. Ugh. 
I even remember checking there more frequently around 2015 for those stupid retail exclusive amiibos. This was during the dark ages of amiibos. There were so many of them that were extremely rare and really hard to find. Unless you wanted 10 freaking Mario amiibos. It didn't help that in the US, somebody made the boneheaded decision to make some of these amiibos retail exclusive. So rather than stock up on current amiibos, Nintendo decided to release new amiibos. Also in limited quantity. <clears throat> I'm just glad it's not like that anymore. But still, just thinking about it... <clears throat> really flips my bacon. Parents would rather purchase toys online on Amazon.com, and kids today are more interested in electronic devices than toys. Those two major factors are what ultimately killed the largest toy chain in the world. Internet kill the toy retail store. Internet kill the toy retail store. But even with all that said, the company still exists today. As of making this video. There was even talks of a Toys R Us reboot. But even if that goes through, would it still gain an edge today? Especially with things like Amazon.com and major retailers such as Target and Walmart also selling toys? Are toy stores facing the same fate as video rental stores? I would love to see Toys R Us still be relevant in some way, but I just don't know if that's gonna work. <sighs> oh well, what do I know? I'm just a big nose freak on the internet. I think the saddest thing about this is how kids in the future will no longer be able to experience the excitement of entering a toy store. Since you can get everything online... Except for the Ocean Hunter arcade cabinet. Seriously, I can't find this thing anywhere. The internet does not have everything. The next time you hear someone say, You can buy anything online. Reply with, Even the Ocean Hunter arcade cabinet. Well, uh, 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 almost anything online. Got him there. Listen, I understand the convenience of being able to buy things online in your underwear, but when it came to toy stores, it was mostly worth going to just for the experience. I remember when I was a kid and how hyped I would be whenever my parents would take me to a Toys R Us. I could barely contain the excitement. I, <clears throat> I kept pestering my dad with questions like, Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? And when we finally arrived and entered the building, it was an amazing experience. Every single time. You think a kid nowadays would get the same sense of euphoria by just browsing the toys online? I get that it's convenient not having to leave your house, but for me, I just like being able to see the physical product in front of my eyes, being able to pick it up with my hands, and being able to look at it in great detail, and if it was something I like, I could just buy it instantly with my pocket money, instead of having to wait 2 to 12 days for it to arrive on my doorstep. But even so, I have to admit there are some advantages when it comes to online shopping. Such as having a bigger selection of products to choose from, as well as having them in larger quantities so they don't get sold out as often. With stores, there's only so much they can carry. So I can't really blame people for opting to buy things online. But does it have to be absolutely everything? We're slowly getting to the point to where people no longer have to leave their house anymore. You can take classes online, order food to be delivered to your house, and there are even a number of jobs that you can do in the comfort of your own home. Not to mention there's also virtual reality. I can just imagine that someday in the future you will no longer see people on the streets. Everyone is enclosed in their futuristic domes that has everything they need. Man, this almost sounds like a Ray Bradbury story. Huh. Except that won't work, because even in the future, you still have to leave your house for jury duty. <sighs> That's one plot hole I can't ignore. Even with Toys R Us gone, toy stores themselves are not dead. 
you can still find them in malls and in downtown areas. And of course, you have the toy department in major retailers such as Target and Walmart. But the thing that really separates Toys R Us from everything else is the fact that it's a massive store that sells nothing but toys. It's a paradise for kids. Now with something like that gone, it's very unlikely for kids in the future to be able to experience something as amazing as going to a large toy store. They might get similar experiences from smaller toy stores and aisles, but it's not the same. You know what I would love to see? Duncan's toy chest from Home Alone 2 being made into reality. As a kid, that toy store was the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life. Every time I watched that movie, I just dreamed of going to New York and see that toy store someday. But alas, it's not real. It's a fictional toy store that was only made for the movie. <sighs> Sucks, doesn't it? So anyways, this has been my video on Toys R Us. I will miss it. It's gone, but not forgotten. It's amazing how a company that's been around for over 70 years is now seeing its end. All because of online shopping. You can buy anything on the internet. Except for the Ocean Hunter arcade cabinet. So thank you very much for attending today, and I hope to see you again. And remember, the internet does not sell everything. So please, grab a ticket and join me next time. Admission is free. Take care and have a nice day.